great. So now that our launch pad is able to read the moisture value coming from the Grove Moisture Sensor from Seed Studio, uh, the next step is figuring out how we can get our launch pad to interact with the cloud. Uh, in this case, we want to use a few REST APIs to enable our Wi-Fi connected launch pad to trigger an SMS or a text message to alert us when the moisture sensor no longer detects water. Um, in this case, we're going to use a web service called Tembu. So we've been working with Tembu the last couple of months now to have uh, integration of launch pad support into their website. Uh, Tembu offers a very unique service for cloud side development. Uh, and in this case, they make it really easy for embedded hardware, such as our Wi-Fi connected launch pad, to interact with over a thousand plus different REST APIs across hundreds of different websites and web services. Um, a few examples include FedEx.com. With the help of Tembu, I can generate code to query the status of a particular tracking number. And depending on that status, I can actually blink a couple of LEDs, maybe green for package delivered or red for package pending. Uh, in addition to that, I can also query weather.com. Using uh, Tembu's uh, weather API, I can actually see whether it's going to rain today, tomorrow, or maybe even pull a five-day forecast. So if my Wi-Fi connected launch pad is controlling a internet connected sprinkler system, uh, my Wi-Fi connected launch pad will be intelligent enough to know that it doesn't have to water the, 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 the lawn or the grass uh, if, if it's raining that day. Um, so that's the type of functionality that Tembu provides. Uh, but in this case, we are going to use Tembu to generate code to interact with a web service called Twilio. Um, and if you go to the Tembu website and sign up for an account, you'll get access to all of these different web services um, and APIs. Um, and as I mentioned, in this case, we're going to be talking to a web service called Twilio, um, and they expose a few APIs for triggering uh, SMS messages or text messages, uh, among other things. Um, but here on the left side of the page is a long list of the different web services that Tembu supports. Um, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to Twilio. And we can see that there's various types of APIs that Tembu supports, or I'm sorry, Twilio supports. Um, but in this case, we uh, want to use the uh, get, or I'm sorry, the send SMS um, API that Twilio provides. Um, and this is really where Tembu gets interesting. Um, at the very top, we need to make sure that we have IoT mode on. And once we click that on, we get a little drop down here to tell Tembu what our target device is going to be. Uh, in this case, it's the Texas Instruments Launchpad hooked up with the CC3100 Wi-Fi booster pack. Um, I could also click this drop down and tell Tembu I can also generate code for the single chip CC3200 Launchpad as well. Uh, but in this case, I've got the CC3100 booster pack um, paired with my MSP430, so this is the appropriate situation for, for what I've got here. Um, I can also hit this edit button, and this is where I can tell Tembu what my Wi-Fi password and credentials are. Um, so Tembu not only will generate code to enable my launchpad to call the right API calls to trigger that SMS, um, it'll also appropriately connect my Wi-Fi enabled launchpad to my home Wi-Fi network uh, with the help of this, uh, this pieces of information. Uh, in addition to that, I get a few parameters that I have to type in. Um, the first two are Twilio-specific authentication keys, um, and you can get that by signing up for a Twilio account. Uh, I've already done that, and I've already saved my Twilio account information here inside of Tembu. So by clicking on this arrow, or I'm sorry, on this uh, drop-down, um, I can use these uh, predetermined uh, parameters that I've already saved inside of my Tembu account. Um, and now you can see that those are populated pro properly here in the uh, text fields. Here in the body section, this is where I might say, um, I need water, I'm thirsty, from your plant. Cool, um, so this is where you can go ahead and put in the body of the text message that you want to trigger. Down here is where you put in your Twilio phone number, and this will be given to you when you sign up for a Twilio account. And then lastly, the phone number you want to send that text message to. And just by populating those fields, Twilio will generate the entire Energia sketch that enables you to trigger that text message every 30 seconds. Um, so what's really cool here is that Tembu has completely figured out the cloud side of your application. Now all you have to do is encapsulate this cloud code um, inside of an if statement. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next step. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this into Energia and we'll move on to the next step.